Welcome, Chemistry 1B, Unit 5, Video Example 1. We're going to be looking at determining orders of reaction for the reaction that you see on the screen, which is the reaction with bromide and bromate in acid to give bromine and water. Okay, if we're to write the um, rate equation for the rate of disappearance of the bromate anion with time, we end up with an experimental value that's given here, where we have the rate constant, we have the concentration of bromate raised to some power x, okay? We have the concentration of the bromide ion raised to some concentration y, and we have the H plus ion concentration raised to some power z. Now we do the experiment, and we see the following, that we find by experiment that x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1, and z is equal to 2. So what does this mean? This means that the reaction is first order in the concentration dependence on the bromate anion. It is also first order in the concentration dependence of the bromide ion. And then finally, it is second order in the concentration of the H plus ion. And if we were to determine the overall order, remember we add, um, so the overall order is um, the addition of all the exponents. So we will just add x plus y plus z. That's what the overall order will give us. And we'll end up with an overall order of 4. And then to write the final rate equation, which is given here, we say that the rate of reaction is equal to the rate constant K multiplied by the concentration of the bromate ion to raise to power 1, multiplied by the concentration of the bromide ion raised to power 1, multiplied by the concentration of the H plus ion concentration raised to the power 2.